Hello, this is Katie, and um, I'm going to make a Valentine's Day card. So, I have dies from, this one's from Avriel. it's the snow caps one that had like the gondola die as well. So I'm using that for these. This is craft brown paper. And then I have, uh, this came from, I think the Lawn Fawn journaling card set. It's just a strip of hearts. Uh, that are going to go along there and I have different patterned papers that I cut out. I have five different ones so we'll kind of just string those along a little bit. Um, so we'll use, we can kind of hold this here if that works and just um, trim it off where it'll end. So that I don't glue up the whole thing and then get glue everywhere. So we'll just measure that right. And I'm using glossy accents. Um, it just dries really well. And as long as you don't squeeze it out, it won't get on um, the rest of your card and dry glossy. So we just want to make sure that's in the right spot. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp the sentiment down here before I do the rest of these because I don't want to run out of room. And I have a few Valentine's Day. I think I'm going to use this one. Um, it's from... I don't actually know who made it. Sa I might say Savvy Stamps. I'm not sure. It's written on. Um, except it's crooked, so that's kind of hard. I wonder if there's a better... I have that one... This one's kind of cute too. Maybe I'll use this one. I don't want to stamp that crooked. I'd have to practice. Uh, this is a Little Inker Designs Love Things stamp set. So I'll use this one in the bottom right corner because I want a happy Valentine's Day. And I have a surprisingly low number of stamps that say that. We'll use black ink. Stamp that in the corner. Okay. Clean that later. And then I'm actually going to round the edges, so I'll do that now. Um, and I have this one from EK Success. I think it's the larger of the ones that they have. So I'll round the top ones. And then these ones I'll do separate because they don't necessarily match up perfectly. So you can punch the front and then the back. Okay. And get that out of the way. Okay. So we have that now and then that. So I will put this towards here and cut that off where I want it to end and then we'll put glue on this part. Just very light dots. Um, it's a very good glue so it'll stick down. You don't need a whole lot. Just need that to match up and if you do get any glue you can use tweezers or whatever you have to kind of scrape off some excess before it does dry because it will dry glossy and that's what it's meant to do. Okay, and then do this last one here. Put it about there and trim that off. And then once you have the glue on it, you just want to make sure that you're not smearing it everywhere before you figure out where it's supposed to go, so we'll try and figure that out. I'll do this edge first and then come up there. Get rid of some glue there. Scrape away some up there. And then we should be good. Alright, and then I'll zoom in a little bit if this works. Here we go. 
And then we have different hearts, which I'll just use that glue and the tweezers for as well. You can just use whatever pattern you want. And just stick these down to, they're not going to stick to the card because the, um, these strings here are pretty raised up as it is. So just kind of alternate. Um, they're only going to stick to the string. You don't want to bend them down to stick to the card because they would get bent. Um, let's see, I'll use this one. So I'll pause for a little bit while I put some of those on there and then I'll show you at the very end. Okay, so I finished up all of the hearts and they're on their strings. So that is what that looks like. Fairly simple. And if it doesn't take you too long and then um, just let those dry and make sure they stay in place. And that is it. Thank you for watching.